our next community conversation today. We're joined by Andy Pillafont, Director of Communications for the Paramount Theater. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey, the Paramount getting ready for daylight saving time with a, a really busy week. A little theater, a little music, a little of this, a little of that. A little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, so tonight we've got night two of the Banff Center Mountain Film Festival. Um, this is presented by the Shenandoah National Park Trust. So all of the revenue that's generated from here goes back into the park, which is great. Um, and that helps support some of their programs, initiatives, staff members. Banff itself is uh, a, a fun night out. It's when the outdoorsy folks get indoorsy um, <laughs> and they watch some uh, excellent shorts that are curated from the folks at Banff. Um, this tour will, this world tour, so this is a stop on the tour, will go to over 40 countries, 800 cities, half a million people will watch these films. It's a lot of fun and that's a good time. And that's tonight, it starts soon. A lot of jaw-dropping footage, I would imagine. <laughs> it's crazy stuff, <laughs> it's crazy. All right, the week continues. We've got a couple of, of, actually three great concerts coming up. Yeah, really lucky to have all of these uh, anyway, much less in the same week. Yeah. Um, so yeah, on Thursday night, we'll have the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Uh, they have been together for 57 years now, which is crazy. They are really stewards of musicianship, of country music, of bluegrass, of Americana. They have an incredible history. They have an incredible catalog that they can pull from. I was looking at some set lists from some of their shows leading up to this and was delighted to see some great covers. Uh, Hank Williams, Bob Dylan, John Prine, plus all the stuff that they've written and, uh, you know, and, and everyone has loved over the years. Uh, should be a great show. That's the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. That's on Thursday night. And one of, uh, at least our generation's, greater songwriters comes in after that. Hall of Famer Elvis <laughs> Costello with his band The Imposters. Um, his most, or their most recent album, The Boy Named If, uh, just was nominated for a, a Grammy this year. Uh, Elvis fans, Elvis Costello fans, gotcha. are uh, an incredibly great group of folks that always come out in big numbers to see him, and Friday night is no exception. Uh, really excited for this one. We're going to rock out. Yeah, he's, he's great. Great live. And uh, then a little jazz to round out the weekend on Sunday. Yes. So Jazz at Lincoln Center uh, presents Songs We Love. So, you know, if you aren't familiar with Jazz at Lincoln Center, I mean, this is the absolute vanguard in jazz in the United States. It's an incredible organization uh, that teaches and educates everybody about jazz, jazz history, jazz playing. Um, and so they have put together a, a tour that will hit the road. They, are, they will visit us on Sunday. They'll be doing an overview of uh, early jazz music from the 20s to the 50s with a focus on vocal jazz. Uh, and they'll have some absolutely outstanding players. Uh, these are people that Jazz at Lincoln Center have identified as really up and comers. Uh, and they've been tested uh, in New York, around the world. Uh, absolutely incredible show. Uh, we're really lucky to have it. And I really encourage anyone that's even mildly interested in jazz to come check it out because it'll be incredible. All right, not that the segment here at four o'clock isn't enough to keep up with the Paramount, but if you're looking for something maybe to hold in your hands. I'll demonstrate this right here. <laughs> so our new playbill is here. This is our spring playbill. Audra McDonald is on the cover. Uh, spoke about her a couple weeks ago. Uh, she's a great Broadway performer. Inside you'll find uh, everything that we've got coming up. Uh, you'll find recognition and acknowledgement for all the good, uh, the, the good people, the good sponsors and donors that have supported us. Uh, a little bit of information about our arts education programs and what that means to us. Um, it's a great thing to pick up and keep. You can read it while you're uh, waiting for a show to begin. You can take it home with you. We've got them all around the theater. Uh, we keep them in the box office, so feel free to stop by the box office anytime you like and come grab one. Uh, it's something we're really proud of. And print is not dead, Steve. <laughs> it is alive and well in the Paramount Playbill. Andy, thank you as always. You bet. Casey?